Hello, uh, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, uh, this is Santos Capellan Jr. wishing you a good day. Now, what I'm going to do today is uh, show you the wiring connection that I have done for the uh, this uh, power diagram. Okay, so in my last tutorial, I have shown you the power diagram drawing. Okay, as you can see here. This is my power diagram. Now, uh, the line is connected to the circuit breaker. Then, I already explained this to you, how I intend to do the power diagram or the power wiring for my simple motor control. Okay. Now, uh, I have just finished the wiring connection. Then, I'm going to show you this uh, connection details. Okay. Now, let me just uh, focus my camera so we will see, okay? Now, uh, first, what I have done here is, uh, as I said, uh, I'll be using this power strip. Then, from the power strip, I will be getting my line and neutral, okay? Because this is a 220 uh, power diagram, single paste, direct online, okay? So, here... As you can see here, 220 will be coming by my power strip. Now, I have here two cables, the brown and the blue, okay? So, I will be using the, bla the brown as my 220 or my line. Then, the blue is my neutral, okay? Now, as you can see, my neutral is directly connected to the neutral of my transformer. Okay, anyway, if I'm, I will not be using this in this tutorial, but I am showing you the connection. So, my neutral uh, is connected to my step-down transformer to 20 to 24 volts, okay? So, I provided there the neutral connection, okay? Then, I connected also the neutral to my uh, fan uh, neutral leads. Both, uh, okay, as you can see here, I already, uh, don't worry, uh, the... The circuit is all uh, is not yet energized, okay? Since as you can see, my circuit breaker is all, all is still off, okay? So la uh, neutral will is provided here. Blue is the neutral, okay? Now my line, I put it in my circuit breaker as shown in my power diagram, okay? So this is the incoming, or then the outgoing will be this one, okay? Now my circuit breaker is off. Now make sure when you are working with this. Uh, Power diagram, make sure it is isolated. As you can see here, I only have power in this side and the neutral here. Okay, so make sure you are not touching it. So you will not be, uh, you, are, you will not be in danger of electrocution. Okay, now so here I have here my outgoing. So what I did, I put it here. Okay, so I put it in my line one. Okay, so from line one, it will go to my T1, okay, as you can see in my power diagram, okay, from my T1, I put a jumper going to T2, then it will go to line 2, okay, then line 2, small jumper again to line 3, then it will go out here in T3, now my T3 is connected to my motor line lead, okay, leads, okay, so as you can see, T3 will go directly to my line in the motor. Likewise, I did the same thing here in the uh, second contactor, okay? So, I shared this uh, line from line 1 of the first contactor, okay? Then, I bring it here in line 1 of my second contactor. The same connection, it will go out in T1 of my overload. Then, it will go in my T2. Then, from line 2 of my second contactor, it will be go to line 3, small jumper. Then, it will go out of my T3 in my overload protection. Then, it will go to my uh, line leads of my motor. Okay? So, that is a very simple uh, power diagram. So, all you need to do first, loosen all the terminals. Okay, as you can see here, we will be all using the terminals of the contactor and the uh, overload protection. So, these are the power terminals. 
power terminals of overload and power terminals of contactor. Okay, so that is uh, the first uh, that you need to loosen everything. Okay, loosen then connect the wire one by one. So from the outgoing, connect a wire there. Then if you are going to share it to the next contactor, uh, make another wire there. Then insert it here. Then tighten up. Okay. So by just using your screwdriver, you can tighten it up. Okay. Then connect a cable here. Then do a jumper. And that is how are you going to do the power diagram. So this is a very simple power diagram. Okay. Now uh, let's check if 220 is available in our circuit. Okay, first let me check the 220 in uh, my breaker. Okay, as you can see here, I have 232. Okay, as you can see, okay, so at the top I have already the 220 there. Then let me energize or turn on my breaker. So I will check if I have already 220 in my outgoing. Okay. Okay, so 220 is already there. Okay, actually it's not uh, uh, 220. It's uh, more than 220. Okay, now how are you going to check if your wiring or your power diagram is correct? By just manually energizing the uh, contactor. So we will energize the manually energize the contactor. Let me focus it there. So what are we going to do? We will manually close the contact of the contactor. Okay, as you can see, when I uh, manually uh, energize or manually close the contact of the contactor, now the fan is already working. So meaning, your uh, power diagram in that contactor and overload is correct. Okay, so let me remove it. Okay, so the motor is stopped or the fan is stopped. Let me try it again to check my uh, power diagram or my power wiring. Okay, so contactor one is okay. So meaning power connection is okay. Now let me check my contactor number two. If I did the power wiring correctly, let me check it. Okay, okay. Now as you can see, the motor or the fan is already rotating. So meaning the power connection for this simple motor control is working fine. So it's very easy. It's very easy to follow. You just uh, prepare your uh, prepare your first prepare your power diagram. Then, based on that power diagram, do your actual connection. But first, you must be very careful if you are working on a live circuit. Make sure you have to turn off first your uh, breaker, or you can turn off the breaker from the uh, I have here my my power strip okay I have a power strip here then another power strip there okay so if you want you can isolate it first then do all the actual wiring connection very easy from breaker outgoing okay so let me close okay isolate the circuit from here connect it to the line one then share it to the next contactor then from the T1 of the overload, make a short jumper. Then from L2, make a short jumper going to L3. Then from L T3 of the overload protection, connect it to the motor uh, line leads. Then the neutral, you can connect the neutral in both of the motor. Okay, so this is how you are going to prepare the uh, wiring connection or the power wiring connection of a simple motor control. Now, next will be the manual uh, control of this simple motor. As I will show you, this is my uh, pilot clamps and selector switch and push button switches for doing the manual uh, control wiring. So first, I will draw the control wiring. Then based on that control wiring, we will follow the termination to its uh, device that we are going to use for uh, manual control okay so thank you very much for watching this short video clip and i do hope you have learned something from this simple tutorial once again santos capillon saying uh, 
Uh, God bless us all. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click also the notification bell. And Santos Capilan Jr. saying bye for now.